Hello to all the nobody in the audience. <laughs> How are we doing today? Oh, Speed's in the audience. Hey, Speed. How's it going? We will be starting in just a few minutes. <laughs> just kind of just getting people in. Just getting all set up so whenever they pop me and I could just go live and eat. Hello. Oh, hello there. Hey. Hello. Yeah. hello. hello. Where's our audience? Yeah, where is our audience? Oh no. Where where is everybody? People usually are here at Yeah, maybe throw one out. Let me give them a few Might as well go ahead. Might as well go ahead and get this started at least. Uh <laughs> ready. Um, oh, I hear they all come in now. All right, cool. I was about to say hey, this panel didn't be empty. <laughs> I was yeah, I mean we, we can't control what what panel people people go in and, and don't come in, so I'm surprised. Where is everybody? Usually, even for any panel, there's at least ten people automatically there. Even for my silly panel about music. Hi, Dino yeah. Kaiju. How you doing? Hey, Dino Kaiju. We had uh, we had speed pop in for like a second and then dipped. Uh, so, um. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think yeah, we're go we're go yeah, words. We are live now, so I will go ahead and. Hop into the audience and uh, leave y'all to it. The stage is all yours. Thanks, Josh. Hi. Hello, everybody. And by everybody, I mean Dino Kaiju. How we all doing? I'm super excited to introduce our lovely guests for today. Rola, say hi to the people, Rola. Hello. Nice to meet y'all. Yeah. So, so, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Corn. No, go ahead. All yours. Uh, yeah, so it's like uh, uh, Q&A with Rola about her and her her artwork and since she works for IDW, she can't talk about anything that is that isn't out yet. But yeah, Rola, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Rola. Um I've been an artist I've been a little, I guess, but I only took it seriously in like twenty twenty one till now. So um, I mainly draw Sonic. I like drawing other things though. But mainly Sonic. Sonic makes me happy when I draw. Um, I like Vocaloid a lot. That's my other favorite thing. Vocaloid! Yeah, love Vocaloid. Um, I love Jesus. And that's my three things I like. So, that's it. Incredible. Um, uh, so, if you only started taking artwork seriously in 2021 and you're already working at IDW, tell us about how that process went. Yeah, so, actually, I used to be a Sonic fan growing up a little bit, but not too much. So, like, at the end of 2021, I got back into Sonic, and I found out about the IDW comics, and I was like, ooh, this is really cool. So, I kind of binged, I binged them to, like, catch up, and I was like, okay, I gotta work for these people. So, that was, like, my goal. I was determined for, like, for, like, ever. And I messaged, like, David Marriott quite a bit, but he said he wasn't accepting portfolio reviews or anything like that, so I waited, and I waited. Like, I kept building my portfolio and stuff like that. And then I did a lot of research on, like, how to get with the publisher. And David never opened up his portfolio reviews. So I figured, like, my only chance was to go in person at a convention, wherever that would be. Like, I found out about New York City Comic Con. And I was like, okay, they were there last year. Well, not, they were there, not this last year, obviously. But at the time, it was, I think it was 2022. They were there. And I was like, okay, hopefully they'll be there the next year. I saved that money and I went to New York City. And they had like this thing where you could drop off your portfolio and there would be like a chance you could be hired by them if they liked you. So like um I went there and I was there for two days, which was a good thing. I didn't know I was supposed to be there for two days, but I ended up getting a two day ticket just in case. And I dropped it off and they gave me like told me that the next day that if I got I got accepted that I would get like an email or a message. I didn't get one, so <laughs> but the next day I went back to like ask what was going on since I haven't heard a thing. I didn't get a text message or a call or an email like they said. And they're like, "What's your name?" And I told them my name, and they checked like the list. They're like, "Oh yeah, you got accepted." I was like okay cool and then i didn't hear anything at all for like maybe a month and then finally one of the editors reached out to me and they're like i got i found your card at new york city comic con 
I was like, okay, finally. So I messaged a lot of the different artists at IDW, like Natalie and Art. And like, I was like, okay, well, I haven't heard anything. They told me like to wait a bit. And that's when like, after that, I got the email from the editor. So yeah, that's basically how I got started. So you just went to New York Comic Con, dropped off your portfolio. They liked it and hired you. That's Incredible. It. I love that for yeah. you so much. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I was really nervous too. Completely understandable. How long have you actually been drawing with IDW? Um, since a year. New York State Comic Con was in October. I didn't get like the email till like November, December. So not that long. Uh, what was the first issue you drew on? Have any of the issues you drew on come out yet? Um, no, I actually haven't done an issue just yet. Okay. So I'm just with them right now. Cool. Great. Love that for you. Even better. Yep. I'm really excited, though. They told me it'd be a little while, so. Mm -hmm. I guess that makes sense. They're in a they're in the middle of an arc at the moment. Uh, yeah, my lovely exactly. folks in my folks in the audience, of course, if you've got any questions, please feel free to raise your hand and ask him. Kevin, I've sort of like grabbed this by the horns and take it over. Please take that control back of your panel. Oh no, it, it's fine. Yeah. Um. So what? What influenced your style? It, it's very detailed. Uh, the the one with what what, what the um I think I think it was Cafe Amy or or or, or Maid Amy. It was it's the one in your pen. Yeah. And yeah, your pen. What what influenced that style? Because it's just so detailed and beautiful. Thank you so much. Um. So when I first started drawing Sonic which was, like, in 2021. Um, my art wasn't very detailed at all. <laughs> it was, like, really, um, like, fast. I didn't, like, put a lot of effort into it. Um, but what inspired me was, like, after Sonic Movie 2 came out, I seen Natalie Haynes is, like, on her Instagram. She posted, like, a drawing for, like, Sonic Movie 2. And, like, I noticed, like, the detail on it. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. So from there, I started, like, pushing my limit. So, like, I got inspired by her, and I got inspired by a lot of, like, different anime artists on Twitter. So, from there, I just kind of, like, push my limits. Even with, like, my backgrounds, I want everything to be, like, maxed out <laughs> on detail. Right, you should. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, too. I don't know. Sometimes it's really time-consuming, but it really just depends on how much free time I have. But I do, I love, I love detail. That's my favorite thing to do. R Rolo, this is gorgeous. Sorry, I'm just looking at the art now. It's beautiful. Yeah, wow. when I when I saw that artwork on, on when I saw that artwork on Twitter, I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, we got to do a Q and A with this artist. It's, that's gorgeous. Thank you so much. I'm actually um there is an illustration that I'm currently working on. I kind of stopped working on it. It was um Maria and Shadow. Oh, let's see here. Actually, I can pull it up real quick. I didn't finish it yet. Um. Let's see if I can find it, and then I can like stream it here. I'm, I'm kept, while you're finding it, what what program do you use to make make that artwork? I use Clip Studio Paint. I love Clip Studio. Um, I don't. I know a lot of people use Photoshop. Um, I couldn't get the hang of it <laughs> personally. It's really cool, but it's not for me. The studio is like just comfy for me. I've been using it for a long time, so I also I'm on PC. I draw on my PC. Um, I use a Huon tablet. My baby. I think on this Photoshop isn't like the gold standard anymore. <laughs> and that's just right, many other programs. All right, I'm looking through your Twitter as we speak. Just the Miku pictures. All hail the great, powerful Miku. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. Wait, which one was it? I'm so sorry. I don't uh, remember. The, the, you've got three snow Miku entries. Uh, oh, they're oh, all my beautiful. Design. Thank you so much. I love it. Thank you. Um, I really love snow Miku. It's like my favorite things. I've been entering that contest since I was like 12. So love I'm working on another design too. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you for us. Corin, would you like to ask the uh, next question? Sure thing. Uh, so, uh, da, 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 let's go through the list of questions. Okay. Uh, so, you draw for IDW now, and I assume you've been drawing a lot of Sonic even before that. Um, what is your favorite Sonic character in general, and who is your favorite to draw? Oh, my favorite to draw is definitely either Shadow or Surge. Even though I don't have a lot of Surge art, I do love drawing her. Um, Shadow would probably be my second favorite. No, I'd say Surge and Shadow are actually tied. 
are my favorite thing to draw. Noted. She likes the edgy ones. I like the edgy ones. <laughs> I mean, they usually have the best designs. I can't argue with you on that. They do. Literally. Um, I don't know. I think they both have really good designs. I like Kitsunami a lot. He's cool, but I don't draw him ever. <laughs> I have. I just haven't for quite a bit. Uh, are they your favorite Sonic character? Just in general, Sonic characters as well? Honestly, I would say yes. But I do. I also love Tangle and Whisper. My girls. I know. They're the best. So, I love solid choice. Sonic. Solid choice. Honestly, Sonic, Shadow, and Silver are my favorites as well. Just like the trio. I mean, they're a trio. I don't know. Argue with that. Can't argue. Mm -hmm. uh, does anyone in our lovely audience have a question for Rola? Yeah. I, uh, Dino, is, is the hand raise working for you? Yeah. You said you had a question. If. If he can't raise his hand, can we just invite him up? Yeah, yeah, we, we can just invite do? him up. Mm, I don't really think strange. I have the power. I think you have to do it. Uh, two. I wonder why it's not working. Hey, hey, Dino. There we go. Hey, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, Hello. Hey, Dino. Hey, I've been doing Hello. good. How's everyone doing tonight? Doing well. Good, good to hear. So, a uh, pleasure meeting you, Rola. Nice. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. All right. <laughs> Nice. All right. So I, I actually have a question. Uh, I'm quite curious to know. Um, yeah. Since um, I'm gonna, just going to say right now, your art is already amazing. Um, I already posted uh, in the discussion one of my favorites, which was the mock-up Tangle and Whisper one that you did. That was like beautiful oh, and with okay. Mimic on the background. Yeah, thank you Gorgeous. so much. Gorgeous. Wow. Thank oh, you it, so it much. It was. I'm sorry. Sorry, you were saying something? Um, I don't even know what I was saying. Um, I think so that was actually the first one in my portfolio when I like took it to New York City Comic Con. So I feel like that's oh. probably why I got hired. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So, okay. So, um, I have a question. Yeah. My question for you, Rola, is um, so um, given the um, scene that um, the art style that you have, that it's more like uh, that it seems to be more like a painting and all that stuff. How's the process of all, of doing all that? And do you usually do it like um? Like sometimes if you see like an art that you really like to use, sometimes like paint, like a uh, print it and put it like a canvas or something like that. But either way, like how's the process on doing such the uh, on the art style that you do? Um, it's just it's really time consuming. So actually, I can stream right now. Let's see, give me like one second. So this was the thing I was working on for a while. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, that I looks beautiful. Oh, that's Ooh. gorgeous. Yeah, I gotta finish it. It's not done, but basically messy. <laughs> My process is really messy. I do uh, quite a few different layers, but they're never like me. So I usually just do everything really messy. Like I kind of just I don't really have a plan when I draw. I just do it, and then I make it like to me. I make it look good how I want it to look afterwards. I kind of just put like like right here. I have some flats and then I have some lines and then I just paint over it. And if I don't, if I can't find the layer that I was on, I just kind of create a new one. I don't really like uh, looking at anything. That is understandable. Um, but either way, the art style, the art already, it's already amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. I really like to combine like the anime style with it. That's why like Maria's kind of like really non, um, no, she's more anime style than I think she looks in the game. Yeah, I mean the closest one would be the one the, how she is in Sonic X. Right, that's what I was referencing the most. Ah, gotcha. I'm trying to connect my own. I use um, dyed by pen. I have a remote that I use for shortcuts, for like tools and stuff like that. Um, it's like the it's the Quick Studio Paint Tab Mate. It's like a handheld one. Here, okay. Really buggy though. That's my only uh. That's the only downfall with the remote is it's really buggy. It doesn't like to connect ever. And yeah. Did you have any other questions? Um. Well, not that I can think. Well, I actually do. Um. Like uh, when it came. Um. Uh, now that I. Now that you mention it. Um. So um. Like with the uh the references and all that. Like like what do you uh, what do you um do you usually use, draw the characters like from memory or do you sometimes use have to use a reference and stuff like that? um from memory unless I am really unfamiliar with the character. Say for Maria, I wasn't too familiar with her um like her outfit. Like I remember what she looked like. I just can't remember her outfit too well. 
So, like, I had to look it up to make sure I got everything correct. But uh, as far as, yeah. like, Sonic characters, I, I can do them from memory. Uh, yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. But typically, yeah. like, I double check everything before, before I, like, post it. Because I don't want to make a mistake. Uh, I see. Nice. Yeah, I think that pretty much answered my. Oh, sorry, you were. Oh no, go ahead. I was, I was, say, I was gonna say, uh, thank, thank you for your question, Donna Kaiju. Yeah, no problem. Talk to you guys later. See you. Kaiju, right. see you soon. Here. Right. Uh, Ultimate had a had a text question in another channel. He uh, he was asking, did you draw your profile picture? Since you said it was very I captivating. Did. I did. That is actually my OC. He is like a monster, a ski woman. <laughs> I love it. It's gorgeous. Thank you. I, I do too. She is. I just see. I I like drawing her. I just don't ever draw her. I do like drawing her though, but I just I just don't. Quickly. I used to draw her a lot when I was younger because I uh-huh. was like I used to draw OCs all the time, and then now I just draw fan. <laughs> well, I'm what fan art. Uh, my next question is: uh, Is there what one thing that you've been wanting to draw but you haven't gotten the opportunity to yet? Um, cards. <laughs> Like um like a Miata. That's what I want to draw. I want to draw a Miata. I want to draw specifically like either Shadow or Surge, with a, like a lowered Miata. That's what I'd like to draw this year. Alrighty, uh, Corn. What what question would you like to ask? Good thing. Um. So as an artist, I comp- uh particularly one that's working from a professional level. You, I'm sure you have deadlines and such to hit. When you have art block during those times, how do you handle that? I kind of just push through, honestly. I don't, I don't know. So, like, since I paint a lot, kind of therapeutic for me versus if I was just, just full on lines. Lines aren't too therapeutic for me. But this is therapeutic, so I kind of just push through art and block. I don't get art blog very often. Onto something else? I used or to, just... though, I... hmm? Sorry, continue. Go ahead. No, you're good. Um, I used to get art block a lot when I was younger. I don't really know what happened. Honestly, I just kind of draw. I don't get art block anymore. But I will say that I do push through it if I do have it. I <laughs> mean, good I for you. Draw. Thank you. Uh, what about if there's yeah. something you need to draw? Like you have a deadline to hit. And do you get art block during those times? And if so, how do you handle that? Um, I typically don't get art block with that. I just kind of stay up all night and finish it. I'm more I mean, good for you at night. So. I'll usually just wait until it gets super dark, and then I get get super creative, and I'm eating Gonzales at night time. Not so much in the daytime. Usually in the daytime, there's a lot going on. Hey, uh, Dodger asked, uh, what is your first classic era game? Ooh, um, so this probably doesn't count. Tell me if it does. I'm kind of iffy on this part. Um, the Sonic 3 was just out. It probably doesn't count, but that was my first Sonic game. Um... First classic era, I guess, Mania. You think about Sonic games, so yeah. I cannot confirm nor deny whether anything you've said is true. So I'm going to take yeah, so your word for it. Wait, I missed something. What happened? Nothing. I think, um, I think my husband <laughs> cut out for nope, a second I, there. You're good. You are super fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, Sonic 3D Blast is my first Sonic game. As far as classic goes, it would definitely be Mania. Uh, it's your favorite. My favorite classic game? Just your favorite Sonic game in general? Um, SA2 or Unleashed are my favorite. Look, SA2 uh, is Unleashed unbeatable. Really it's so good. It is unbeatable. Yeah, um, Unleashed really stuck with me because that was the game I was really obsessed with as a kid. And after that, I kind of fell out of Sonic. But um, recently, I played Generations. I haven't finished it yet. It's pretty fun. I like Generations a lot. I'm really excited for the new, the new one. Sweet. Uh, yep. Prankster has a question in the audience. Uh, what art styles, other than Sonic and your own, is your favorite? Like, as, like someone else drawing it or something like... Uh, someone else's I art like style play. or the art style of, for example, an anime or a specific cartoon. Ooh. What art styles besides your own and the classic Sonic art style is your favorite? I really like the um, initial D manga art. That's really pretty. It's mainly watercolors and really cool because there's lots of like cars and it. it's just a really neat style since it's from like the 80s, 90s. Do you want to take the, do you want to take the helm back 
I've kind yeah, of, I, sure. I keep taking and over your show and I feel bad. No, you're you're a good coin. You are you are a co-host. I've I don't want to steal the spotlight either. So, but yeah. Oh, and Dodger was saying uh, before I get to the next question, uh, your your classic game is coming to a mobile via next foot game. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that either. But yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Takamashu asked a uh, question for Lola. What was your first art project? My first like ever art project, or like um, to be the imp- the know, implication seems to be first ever. First ever. Hmm. Well, I don't think I remember. <laughs> Um, I was really What's, the first, I um, What's the first one you can remember? What's the first one you can remember? When I was play, like 10, 11, I used to do like animation memes and stuff like that. So that was probably like, one of my first project projects. Oh, I used to like, animate the character. Back here, you so. did animation? Yeah, I did. I used like, to have like a YouTube channel and stuff like that. That is so freaking cool. Animation is intensely hard. Tell us more about that. Yeah, it, it, um, it's... I think it has its ups and downs. I don't animate anymore. I want to get back into it though this year. That's another plan. Um, I was really trendy for like animation memes, and like a lot of people, like a lot of kids, preteens were doing it. So I'm like, okay, I can do this too. And I did it. I never like got anywhere with it though. But like, it was a lot of fun doing it. I used to use like Paint Tool Say or Paint Tool Say a lot, and then like I switched over to Clip Studio later. Later, and I don't really regret. No, I like this better. But I want to do like Sonic animations this year, hopefully. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah, that's a great way to put your name on the. Be like, hey, I'm working for IDW now. Here is an animation. Right, I'm cool you. because you are cool. <laughs> Thank you. So are you. Thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. does anyone else? Did I miss any questions in here? I did not. Okay. Um, I, my next question is how, do, if, when you, when you get art block, how do you deal with it? Cause I know that, that's the thing. Asked, that a lot. I just, oh, I just oh, asked that, my I'm dude. so sorry. That's really good. Um, I just pushed through. I just kind of like forced myself like the, with the, with the Amy picture, the cafe one, I really, I really hated working on it. Um, so I quit for like two months. That's cause like, I didn't have a lot going on. I just I stopped working on it for two months and then like i got like the sudden urge to like finish it in one night so it was like halfway done and then like i just stayed up and finished it after two months of putting it off so and step away from it, it take a break and then come back and kick its butt exactly or if you don't want to take a break just push through <laughs> look and at you i just kind of um i think another thing now that i think about it is i switched like the I switched the entire drawing. It did not look like that originally. It was going to be a cafe, not a flower shop. And Cream was actually in it. And I was drawing her, and I was just really unhappy with the way it looked. So I changed the whole composition of it into what it is now. It's actually going to be like um, a landscape, like um, picture rather than a portrait. And Cream was like holding like a tray with um with, like desserts and stuff. And there's going to be like a coffee bar in the back. Did like you just? That. Girl. Did you just throw the entire picture away and start over and draw it in like a day? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, Amy was pretty much done at that point. So really, it was just the whole background and cream I threw away. Look at you. It's I think awesome. I have. Yeah. I think I have pictures of the old one, but I'm not not entirely sure. Also, Corn, uh, Donna called you. I do, uh, I do see. I see the Mina picture. I am very, I love Mina. I love her deeply. And this is beautiful. The positioning, the posing. Damn. I cannot yeah, argue. She was a blast to draw, actually. So fun. I love She's drawing so her. Weird. She was so fun. She was so fun to draw. I, I want to draw her again this year. You I said. don't know when. I, I am 100% in support of drawing more Mina. I drew Sally too. That was fun too. Sally was really fun. Sally's got a gorgeous, go gorgeous design. Yeah, she does. I like to do Sally. That's a lot more than but I think it both good in their own way. So um, you mentioned uh, I'm trying to go ahead, Gorn. Uh so you mentioned in the beginning of this that you were into Sonic before uh trying to get hired for IDW. What actually got you into the franchise in the first place? Um, so there's this music artist that's called Pogo. And he does like a lot of different 
like remixes of movies and TV shows. And like one night I was scrolling looking for new music. And there was like this other music artist who has like a very similar style. And they did like a Sonic remix. And I got like really addicted to that song. And like I got, I was like, okay, I need to know who's this character, who's this character. It was a Sonic 06 remix. So I was like really caught off guard by these other characters that I never knew about. So I, I delved into it. And I was like, ooh, okay, I'm back into this. And that's really what got me into Sonic again. And after that, I got like SA2. And I was like, okay. I'm, I'm into this for sure now. And then after that, I was like, okay, there's comics. I need to get into this more. So <laughs> I just <laughs> dove into it even more. And I fell down the rabbit hole. And now I'm here. Now you're here actually working for the people who make the comics. Which is crazy because honestly, I never, I mean, I can't say I never thought I would. I always like had a feeling with make it because I'm really, um, I'm really determined when it comes to things. Mm-hmm. So I want to like always try my best to make it happen. I but mean, you went to a whole time, convention. Yeah, you went to a whole really convention with the purpose too. of getting hired. That was literally my only purpose in New York was to drop off my portfolio because that was yeah, totally the only chance I had to do it was to drop it off in person because I went through so many editors trying to contact them and I never got a response. So. I finally got a response after going in person. Uh, you, usually going to conventions in person is like the better way because you get to actually right. speak to someone in person. Even right. so, you I have did. to pay the money to get there and take the time. Th- that is determination, if nothing else. It, it was a lot. And that's, that's okay, though, because it's fine now. But um, it was worth it. But my um, only <laughs> doubt was like, I spent all this money. And I'm not going to get anything. But then I got it. So it was fine. But, like, the waiting for that email was not fun at all. Utter torture. I was like, that "Um." I get. I was, like, freaking out. So I'm like, okay, they said they, they, like, they put me on a list. Not being contacted yet. What's going on? Yeah. That's basically, that's the story. Really fun. I, oh, I got to meet um, Daniel at New York City Comic Con, which is really cool. Uh, What were they like? He was so nice. He was really friendly. I was only there for a split second because it was really crowded. But I got right, to take of a course. picture with him. He was really cool. He was a super nice guy. So jealous. Super nice. So jealous. <laughs> I was actually, I was like, wait, wait, he's here. So I was like, okay, I gotta rush over here. I couldn't find his booth for a while. And I was like, oh, okay. Here, I found it. Can I take a picture with si- you, please? Since you're there, you might as well. Right. I was like, ooh, okay. Hello. And then, um, Jennifer Hernandez was also there. That was pretty cool. I me, mean, who Jennifer Hernandez is again? That's not a name that oh, rings well immediately. Uh, let's see here. They yeah, uh, ID yeah, or, should be Jen Hen or Jen Drawing, as she's known as now. Thank you, both of you, and Dino Kaiju. Yep, yep, yep. yep. They're, yeah, she, they're really nice. Yeah, she, she's been around a long time. I, I remember, like, way back in the day, like, when she was just a band artist before she got hired for IDW. Yeah. There's this like one piece type mock up cover from the Archie series that Jen did. It was really cool for Archie. It was like an Archie cover. And it was like it's like um a parallel to like one piece. It was really cool. Now you had mentioned uh Surge is your favorite character. Is that that quite I hope my memory serves me right? Surge? My favorite yeah. character? Yeah. Yeah. So, so what about Surge uh makes makes her your favorite IDW character? Um she kind of reminds me of Spinel from Steven Universe. Dollar. And Spinel is like my favorite. Dollar. Um, Dollar. I don't know if these guys know Hollow Life. Like, very well. Favorite. Very well. There's a talent. Her name is Nicholas Bales. Bales, I yep. Like, I know it. We can headcanon her to have the voice, like, the voice surge. So, like, whenever I would read like the comic, I would always like, have her voice in my head. And they kind of have a similar personality, so voice surge yeah. is my favorite. I also like the like the design; is really nice. So, like, um, I know there's an energy drink from the '90s that's called Surge, and it has the same design, like, same color palette. It's really cool. Really, yeah. Thinking about it, that's uh, I know that that's a total coincidence because Surge was based on a glitch so cool. in an old game or something. I don't remember yeah, the exact. Similar, but that's actually. 
that actually uh, is really that makes sense. The uh, in energy drink having the same color palette. I love that. That's cool as hell. Yeah, it's really cool. Thank I you, Dino like Kaiju, um, for knowing the things. Yeah. Um, I think that'd be cool. The G Fuel energy drink. I think it'd be cool if Surge had one eventually. Look, give Surge any. Give Surge anything that's going to give her extra energy. Just let her be more powerful. I'm not just saying that because I voice Surge. I'm not saying that at all. Uh, but I am in entire support of making Surge more powerful. Yes, yes. I agree. I agree, I agree. Um, that was my favorite IDW arc was like the imposter syndrome. Like out of them all, that one was the one that got me into it the most. Imposter so, like, syndrome really is involved. awesome. It was such a good arc. I mean, the other arcs were good too. Obviously, I mean, that's what got me into it, too. But, like, imposter syndrome was, like, the one I was addicted to. You. I was like, oh, this is so good. I need, I need more. I need more right now. I look forward to every month. With you. All right. Uh, Cora, would you like to ask next question? Oh, I'll t- sure. I'll take the next question. Um, so, I asked about what got you into Sonic already. Um, but what can you tell us about what got in- you into illustration in general? Um, I've always done it since I was little. I kind of just wanted to make it a job. I originally, great cloud over here. Um, originally, I was really wanting to be like a concept artist, but then I was like, mm, no, I didn't really know what to do. I was really like happy once I found out I could be like a comic illustration illustrator. Um, I think when I was let's see here, I'm trying to remember when I started taking art seriously in 2021. I think I just wanted to be like well known for my fan art. That like didn't happen for a few years. Um, let's see here. That was really like the pushing. That was what pushed me to do it. Um, it only paid off though <laughs> once I started drawing Sonic, and that's also another reason why I kept drawing Sonic because people liked it. And I'm like, okay, people actually like this stuff, so I'll draw on it for them too. That was when I was on Instagram. So, uh, but, um, any see. other? I drew a lot of. Done... Sorry, continue. Hmm? Very good. Sorry, good. good. Uh, have you done any other professional artwork besides IDW? Have you worked with any other comic agencies or done any independent work? Um, no other agencies as yet. I would hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I want to. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think here. Um, not yet. I got. Let's see. I got. Um, let's say the offer, but you know, like the dodo, like that pet media thing. No, so- they do a lot of like. T- Hello, you know Dodo. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, so on typically you'll see on a lot on Facebook, there's this social media page. I think they've been on Animal Planet as well. It's like they're called the Dodo. They post like a lot of like heartwarming stories and stuff like that. But the owner has like an insurance company for like a pet, for like pets, like a pet insurance company. And they like offered me a job to do illustration for them. So that's kind of in the works. That's just something I'm waiting on right now. Look at you. Any professional experience yeah. and immediately getting hired by IDW. That's talent. Yep. That is complete talent. Thank you. Thank you. All glory to God. But um, yeah. So that's where I'm at right now. I just do commissions on the side besides my day job. Uh, do you have any questions for Rilla or anyone in our lovely audience? Oh, I'll wait for any hand to be raised. Um, what is something you wish pe- people know, knew more about your work? Um, honestly, I'm not entirely sure. I just want more people to enjoy it. I like to draw for people's enjoyment. Like, my thing is, I want to draw things that most people wouldn't see, even though I draw a lot of things that people see all the time. Um, like, with the made, well, with the made Amy thing, that was something I felt I haven't seen people do yet. I was like, okay, I want to draw Amy in, like, a made outfit, because I don't see that ever. And I'm like, people might think that's cute. So I did that, and people did think it's cute, which makes me happy. I was also, I don't know if you guys know, it's called Toho. You know Toho? It's like um, like a Japanese game. Yes. Like a bunch of music. That also, I was listening to a lot of Toho, and I was like really inspired by that. They're all (laughs) made Amy. I was like, they all have cute outfits, and I'm like, okay. What if Amy's like a maid? I'll do that. What I did. Um, Let's see. I want to draw more odd things. Like, like I said earlier, like Shadow with like a car, right? Like, I want to draw more stuff like that eventually. Um, just like random things. Just on a character's doing everyday 
things or like not like stuff you'd see in the comics that type of thing but as of right now i think i draw a lot of stuff people see all the time like um <laughs> like portraits and stuff so that stuff's more um you'll see the other people doing that but the amy thing was something i don't think people have done for a bit and mo please we seem to be having some fun issues with discord and the discord permissions i i think i fixed it uh try try to raise your uh, hand now that if i do there we go. I, I Kevin, see. Yep, you I broke see what will happen. It. It, for whatever reason, uh, Discord on its own says disabled allow from every everyone. So I don't know what that was all about, and I apologize for that. But yeah, oh, so, hey, Dana. Oh, so it's, you oh, broke oh, okay. it. Uh, Discord, yeah. Discord, Hello. Discord. Anyway, hello once again. Hello. All right. So, all right. I um, I did post this in the text question, but might as well ask it anyway, since I'm now here. Um, so aside from Sonic, are there any other franchises that you are interested in drawing or you like wanted to draw or you draw the most, like mostly like on your off time or like posted on your uh, on your Twitter and stuff like that? Um, just like like Vocaloid, honestly. Vocaloid is my favorite. Um, that's the only other thing I'm really into. Oh, I can't believe I forgot. I really like Monster Hunter. Wait, so that's another thing I like to draw. Wait, 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 wait. Monster Hunter? No, Monster Hunter. Sorry. Oh, Not Monster Hunter. Oh, okay. So that's a cool game. Oh, okay, okay, game okay, 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 okay. Never mind, never mind. Got confused there. <laughs> that's a nice choice there. Okay. Yeah, I like Monster High a lot. Honestly, if I could have another job, I would like to be like, um, like a doll designer or something for Mattel. Not for Barbie, though. I don't really care for Barbie. That's understandable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just because their designs are really unique at Monster High versus other things. I also know they have the Nickelodeon show. There's a lot of like concept artists involved in that. And that's something I'd like to work on one day if I could. Ooh, for like a uh, for like character design or like concept art or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, because they do um like for the Nickelodeon series, they have since it's a new generation, they do different designs for it. Yeah, so basically they redesign the characters to fit like a modern day. They look really different, but I think that's really cool. They have a bunch of different people doing those designs, and I'd like to be one of those people one day. Well, that would be interesting even if it's to not see. For, like, that show, yeah, even if it's not for that show, I would like to be just a little character designer. Or even if like, right. I wouldn't mind doing backgrounds and stuff, because that's my other favorite thing to draw is just, just backgrounds. Hello, oh yeah, that's a, oh yeah. I can see that, especially with uh with this um uh with what you're seeing here, like the space background here. It, again, it it looks great already. Thank you. There's a lot more I want to do to it. Um, I actually, appreciate that. I think I would, yeah, no problem. Actually, kind of like a follow up. Like, uh, what do you find more easier to do? I uh, do to draw like the characters or the background. Backgrounds. Honestly, I like the backgrounds a lot more than drawing the characters. But the characters require a lot of detail too for them to like blend well with the background, not to like stand out too too much. That's why like I put oh, yeah. a lot of detail into everything so it all flows. Oh, it yeah, just takes time. See. Yeah, that's understandable. Like especially like here, like with Shadow's fur and Maria's hair and all that. Yeah, that's understandable. Like, even like with the with the with the with the eyes as well. Yeah, like those. I was so irritated though. Like when I was working on this with those eyes, I was so mad. I was like, I can't get these right. I got them right eventually, but I was like, mm, this is not looking how I planned. So usually I just kind of like fix it over time until I like it. But, um, I feel like it is how they're supposed to look now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Originally they just looked so hard. Like I didn't like that at all. It looks better that way. I mean, she's dead. Oh, yeah, so. for sure. Like, especially you see the shading and all that stuff. As well. Yeah. I have right. a file for um, Made Amy still. A pretty drastic difference between the final render and the sketch. Ah. If you guys wanted to see that. If you want, sure. That would be interesting to see. Uh, um, but yeah, that pretty much answers my uh, my question. And uh, thank you for the answer. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, talk to you guys again. See ya. Thanks. Hey, Bye. Bye. See you soon. I, I have another question, uh, Rolla. What Sonic character is the easiest and hardest for you to draw? Oh, um, Sonic. <laughs> I don't like drawing Sonic. 
That's a really weird thing to say. I don't really like drawing him. Um, you maybe because of his quills. I can do it. I just, I don't like drawing his quills too much. I prefer drawing Shadow's quills. They're more fun. Um, I, I mean, I do, I like drawing Sonic to an extent, but I prefer drawing everyone else over him. I think everyone else has their shape. Like, I like drawing Amy a lot more than Sonic. How about which um, one is easiest to draw? Oh, easiest. Probably Amy or Shadow. Or Surge. I love, I love Surge. That's pretty, she's pretty easy to me. Um, usually Any though, particular reason for that? Drawing, um, mainly because her, her quills. Her quills are really fun to draw. They're like, I don't know, like a plant, honestly. They kind of, whoop, they go up. They go up and then like, her hair on the side. It low key looks like horns. So that's pretty fun to draw. I like that. Um, she's just kind of curvy. Like her whole design, like her pants are curvy, her shoes are curvy, and her hair kind of has a curve to it. Shadow's quills have a curve to it. They kind of just go up in a way. All right, I think it's easier to place Shadow's quills on their head versus like Sonic's. Like again, I can still draw Sonic, but if you see I my don't art, doubt that you, can. you probably won't see. Huh? Of course, I absolutely have no doubt that you can. Yeah, but um, if you've seen my art, you'll see like zero Sonic. Except here and there. You'll see where there's one here. So we know that you love to draw Surge and that you like to draw uh, Shadow. What do you like yeah. most about their characters? Both from um, a like uh, personality-wise and also from a, an artistic... Th- I like to draw them for this reason. Like starting out with this style, I think Shadow's design is really unique. Um, also because black and red is a really cool combo. I like... Like the shape of him, he's really he kind of has like um word for it um like a little bit of intimidating look as he kind of stands a certain way. He's more of that intimidating one. Um, Surge she, again, she reminds me of like energy drink, so that's why I like her design. I like Shadow's personality a lot in Say Two. Um, I like his personality throughout most of the games. He's more like the calm and cool and collected one, like a template. <laughs> That's why I like him. I like Serge because she's kind of just on crack. Um, and she gets angry really easily. She kind of just like flies off the rails pretty easily. I also like how she is with Kitsunami in more of the recent chapters because she's more like, I don't know, I see them like a sibling dynamic. Pretty much so, yeah. But in, in like the earlier chapters with Serge and Kit, like she's more rude to him. And it kind of seems like she doesn't recognize him as a person. But like later on, I think that changes. True, I do love the, uh, I hesitate to call it growth from Surge, because she hasn't really grown, but the changes that have happened in her as time has gone on. Yeah, the changes are noticeable to me. I like that about her. I don't know, I think, I just think she's cool. She's a cool character all around. Her old designs that were, like, the concepts were really cool, too. They were, yeah. They're all really cool. I must say, I think they're all equally good. Uh, I don't know if you're reading the chat, Rola, but uh, you have introduced at least three people to your art, and they are all squeeing about it. Oh, shoot. Um, I haven't actually seen the chat. Hi, yeah, um, I, I know Evil Shadek, uh, an- another fan artist, is, is one, one of them who who did in the audience. Uh, Ultimate as well. I don't After speaking, speaking of Ultimate, I, he had a question if you like to calm up. Uh, corn. Uh, do I? Sorry, I don't see the chat. I know how to do this. I know how to call people up. Haha, I did it. I called up Ultimate. No. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, hi. Ultimate, this is an yeah. interview panel, not a character panel. Who said I was in character? Hi, Ultimate. <laughs> hi, have you stopped smoking? For reference, everybody, I had a. I got sick and it hurt my voice. And it sounded like I was oh. smoking. That is, for reference, I have not smoked. Oh. Smokes three times anyway. a day. I've seen it. <laughs> anyway, Please. Ultimate, anyway, ultimate. Yes. Hi. I am absolutely in love with your art, your artwork. It looks oh, boss. Thanks. I just absolutely love, like, the shading and the way that you... Look at the eyes on Shadow. Like, holy cow. That's, that's so cool. cool. The lighting. I'm just like, oh, so cool. Thank you so much. Okay. That means a lot. I'm glad you guys like it. So. Yeah. So my question is, how did you get your start into, uh, unless this has already been asked, how did you get your start into, like, getting into artwork and stuff? What prompted you to become an artist? 
Um, my mom got me some watercolors when I was like a kid, and then I just kind of like stuck with it. It's just something I always did like for fun, and then like I took it seriously, it was, like twenty twenty one, and I just always like pushed my limits. Like I always, I used to kind of like get influenced by other people's art styles, but like obviously now I have my own style that that's taken a lot of time to work on. I feel like that's how it is for a lot of people. Is like it takes a while to find your style to build your style. So you've been yeah, drawing I, professionally for about three years now. Yeah, I would say a little, probably less than that, because I wouldn't say I my art was as good as it is now back then. Um, I've done commissions more recently in the past two two years, I'd say. Um, and I was never with like a publisher before that. Before um, gotcha. November, December, October. Gotcha. Like, okay. Uh, I might want yeah. to hunt you down later for commissions. So this is just like too good okay. to pass up. <laughs> it's beautiful. Are open. I know, right? I, love, I can do humans. I love drawing humans too. I could, yeah. Well, obviously, when you look at Maria, she's not like disproportioned or anything. Like she looks beautiful. Thank you. From the chin down, anyway. I can't see there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There see, go. look how adorable that is. She looks like an anime character. That's cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I like the I lean more on the anime side for all my stuff. Very nice. Not nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for answering my question. Well, thank you for asking me the question. Appreciate no it. problem. Thank you. Alrighty, uh, Corin, did you have any more questions you wanted to ask, Bola? Already spoke about the tools that you use to draw. Uh, we did. We did have that conversation. Um, besides IDW, do you have any new projects that are coming up this year? And if so, can you tell us anything about them? Um, so I'm wanting, of course, I said like the shadow cars, etc. But I'm wanting to do, I'm wanting to build my portfolio more. Um, I'm wanting to do like reference sheets for characters, like original concepts and stuff. Not like for Sonic, but like just to build my portfolio, show I'm good at designing. Um, Humans, monsters, etc. I want to work on that. I like, I want to like get more jobs. Like, hopefully, with like either the animation company, not me doing animation, but like either as backgrounds or stuff like that. Because I don't want to just stick with comics. I want to do a bunch of different things. Possible. Because I want to make a living off of this. So I don't want to just like myself in the box. I want to like expand. So I would say my project is working on character concepts and hopefully some more odd Sonic characters doing odd stuff. <laughs> odd Sonic <laughs> characters doing odd stuff. I love it. Yeah, you know, like doing stuff you wouldn't see them doing in like the show. In like any, uh, do you have any? Do you have any ideas for other things that you might do that you could share with us? It's like I want to see. I want to do more Vocaloid art this year. Because I haven't really posted any of that besides my recent designs. So I want to do Sonic and Vocaloid together. Like, um, like Rin and Lin with tails, because he has two tails and there's two of them. And they're like mirror images. So I'd like to like do a piece like that with them together. That would be really cool. To me, that would be really cool. And Kagami, and tail. Kagami Nays and Tails. Kagami Nays and Tails. Kagami Nays and Tails. I love yeah, that. Because I think that would be awesome. Um, I don't really want to draw Miku with Sonic. <laughs> want to draw, want to draw more of the other characters with them. I might draw Miku with Sonic, but I feel like people have already seen that. Because, like, I Sonic mean, the color colors are awesome. I just I think so many people have already done it. I want to do, I want to do stuff that people haven't seen yet. Fair. I mean, they're so funny. I might draw it eventually, but I want, I would probably do that after I do the other stuff. Totally. Yeah. And talk talk about this and he's like, whoa, she has the potential. She deserves to go for IW. I, I, I know. That's right, she does. She's so good. Um, I have a quick question. Yeah, sure. I don't know where to, I don't know where to see the chat at at all. So um oh, so I don't I don't pain you. Um yeah. I don't know if you could see that. It's called Sonic Art Show Discussion. I don't know if you could see that on your left hand side. Under the Sonic um, uh, I'm gonna ping you again really quick. You should have a little thing pop up. Oh, 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 oh. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Boop. Yeah, now. Cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've missed out on a lot. 
Yeah, yeah. If you go up, you can you can say like like people saying like, oh my gosh, I didn't oh, know about her work right before, but now I do. There's a lot here I've missed. Whoopsie. Okay, totally fine. That, cool. That's Thank what you. <laughs> that's what you have me and Kevin here for. Ah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I want to try and ignore anyone. It's just gonna see it. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, the last question I can probably think of uh, is there any advice uh, you can give for those that that are aspiring artists or people that really want to want to work for IDW because I know there's a, there's a lot of people who are aspiring to be a c- cover artist or work on the comic things like that um, persistence I'd say persistence and um, motivation like being determined and being persistent with what you want and don't give up. Don't give up because you're not seeing results right now. Just keep pushing through. Because if it's not happening right now, it doesn't mean it won't happen ever. Just be not right now. So if you give up, then that might never happen. So just always push through. And don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yeah. your ability. Uh, just always have confidence. And keep pushing on. If you've seen IDW's like, artists, they have so many different styles. So, like, why wouldn't you be picked, you know? There's so many good people. And, like, they all have different styles. So, if you don't think you're good enough, that doesn't mean you're not good enough. It's just, you know, in personal opinion. And you got to think positive about yourself. Yeah, all great words of advice indeed. Uh, Corinne, is there any other questions you'd like to ask, Lola? This is the question I wanted to ask last. So, I have no further questions. Uh Lovely friends in chat, does anyone have any questions or comments for Rola? I'll give it a couple of minutes to see if anyone has anything to say, ask, talk about. Yeah, see if, see if people need to type of, uh, want to type, type up anything and, and tap, tap, if, if not, we can just wrap up the Q&A. We, we got, don't, have we got? I, ultimate, I agree. I so want to see her draw an IDW cover real bad. Yeah, if whenever that whenever you do and that cover comes out, we we love to see it. Yeah, I look I greatly look forward definitely. to it. Yeah, thank you guys. I'm really excited too. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any have any audience questions. So, our role is there anything you'd like to say before we wrap up the Q and A? Um, thank you guys for inviting me out here. I was really shocked to be invited, but it was a lot of fun. Thank you, and the questions were also fun. So, everyone was super nice like the audience they're really nice too yeah well we're always thank- happy to feature upcoming artists uh thank you very very much Lola, for coming and thank you corn for coaching and thank you everybody in the any audience for coming thank you for being here and thank you so much for being here Rola. this was super fun yeah it was a lot of fun thank you guys i appreciate it uh it what's nice our next you guys too. yeah it was super nice meeting you too yeah, nice, nice to meet you too. Um, um, it, what it, is so, next? It is the Q and A with Victory Arena. You know, would you like to announce? Would you like to read that one? Um, uh, the one, I, one on Saturday. I can totally read the description. Uh, come join Kevin and Blue as they do a Q and A with Victory Arena about them and their works. That's the description. Yeah, and that cool. will be and that will be on Saturday, this Saturday at three p.m. EST. All right. I'm okay, well, I'll probably watch oh. it the next week. Yep, yeah. no worries. It'll all be recorded. But yeah, we'll see you all later. See you all soon. Bye. Thank Bye. you.